The Evoke family from Nanlux has a new family member. It's the full spectrum color 900C. This is a Cinity Gear News video supported by B&H and CVP. Hey everybody, Graham Aylers Sheldon here from CineD.com. We're at NAB 2023. I'm on the show floor here with Ron from Nanlux. How's it going, Ron? It's going great today. Yeah, t today, a few more days left of the show. So let's, you know, let's take our vitamins. See how much longer my voice lasts. Oh yeah, mine too. But the really exciting thing here today is directly behind me. There's a new addition to the Evoke line. I'm a longtime user of the Daylight and Bicolor Evoke. What's right behind me, Ron? This is a 900C full spectrum uh, RGBA CL technology. So it's a six chip emitter. Wow, uh, yeah, so C equals color, but I mean, the, the banner headline, I guess, would be 900 watts, high output color. Yes, high output color. Um, strongest fixture of this, its type in the industry at this time. Um, what are some of the banner features in the new Evoke 900C? I mean, just visually, I've noticed the ballast design has changed a little bit. It's still uh, that proprietary NL mount. So your accessories from the previous Evoke fixtures will work with the 900C. But maybe start with the ballast, if you don't mind. What's changed with the ballast? Well, the ballast is smaller and lightweight. And of course, it's IP55 rated so that when you happen to be out in the rain, you have no concern whatsoever that it's going to be damaged in any way whatsoever. And part of the reason the ballast is smaller is that in order to get the, this IP rating for the head, the brains had to be moved up into the head itself, which is efficient. Now, I, I know it's color, so it's kind of a, a different animal, so to speak. But is there a way to talk about the output of the 900C, say, versus another product, or to compare it slightly to maybe the bicolor version? I know it's different watt hours, but I, I want to give people a sense of output here. Golly, I, I don't have any specific information on the, on the output itself because I haven't personally been able to test it. It is so new. So I haven't got the exact figures to tell you at this point, but I do know that it is significantly brighter than anybody else in this color range. Yeah, I can't think of another uh, sort of competitor here in the 900 watt uh, space. Or the color space. That's right, yeah. So what other, what other uh, banner features about the 900C? Well, it's versatility. When you can take a fixture and have the adaptability that it does, much like the 1200 line, so anyone who's already familiar with all the accessories that you can use on a fixture of its type, that is, to me, one of the biggest advantages to having a light like this. You can control the beam, you can shape the beam, and have all the colors that you need, and more, all in one fixture. Yeah, so I mean, are the, the days of gels sort of behind us here? Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, um, well, uh, what else about the 900C? I, I assume you have various effects you can do. Can you dial in specific, I'd say, digital industry favorite gels from, I don't know, Roscoe's and the Lees of the world? Yes. You can dial in your, your full range of, of gel colors that you're familiar with from your swatch book. You have the ability to put them over a tungsten base or a, or a, a daylight base so that if you know that you need a particular color over a daylight fixture, you know the output because you've used those gels in the past. So, Ron, tell me about, uh, are there various effects available on the Vogue 900C? There are 15 different effects, effects available that we're all familiar with, from paparazzi and police cars and, and fire and TV and, and all of those things that, that we used to have to use all sorts of other devices to achieve. And yeah, even manually, like dimming up and down over like a 30-minute scene. I remember those days. I remember the days of dangling my fingers in front of little 650 heads. Uh, very cool. So you have all the various effects, you have those digital gels, but you touched on something that I thought was really interesting. The idea that you have a base tungsten side or uh, daylight side color temp 
in sort of a CCT mode and you're putting a digital gel on top of that, which to me is very intuitive because that's how I'm sort of used to working. I'm putting a gel on a, usually a tungsten uh, fixture back in the day, and then more recently daylight. So actually that makes a lot of sense to me. So I love that particular feature. It's an excellent feature because when we're lighting movie sets, we have a particular base that we're working with, either tungsten or daylight, generally speaking. And so in order to, to use the color technology for whatever effect you're trying to achieve, you don't want to have to suddenly change all of those parameters that you're using as a base, like 3200 or 5600, in order to get a particular color. So when you know that a certain gel is going to give you the, the equivalent that you're looking for over your daylight balance or your tungsten balance, it's all right there. So Ron, I assume you know, when you're in a, uh, a location where maybe you need to match you know, existing fixtures, I always run into this in like skating rinks and malls and places where you just can't change out every fixture in the building. Do you have any control over things like uh, plus, minus magenta, green shift, any of that? Yes, you can go plus or minus 200 on the green or magenta shift. Wow, okay. So it, it's a fully broad range, so you can match to virtually anywhere you walk into. Great, and then in terms of output, do we have any sense of about how much output you're getting out of the 900C without you know, maybe concrete photometrics on the floor here? We're talking about somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 to 80% of the output of a 1200. Okay, of an Evoke 1200. And then in terms of uh, connectivity options, uh, is it Bluetooth, is it internal Lumen Radio, DMX, uh, 5 pin, what are we looking at? We're talking about virtually every popular method of connect connectivity there is. 5 pin DMX, Ethernet, Lumen Radio, Bluetooth, it's all available. We have the Nanlink app for your phone, which is just a, a wonderful way to connect to your light and control it without having to run all around the set. And final question, uh, pricing and availability, and then sort of what are you getting in the base kit? I don't know if you have all that information at this time. I don't have the information at this time. We're talking about Roughly just shy of $4,700 list. And we're like the base kit, like maybe one lens, that sort of thing. I think, I think it comes with the 45 uh, power reflector and then you know, any accessories that you're interested in. Fresnels, other power um, adapters for your, your um, Leco front ends, that sort of thing. They're all available at this time. Plus, as, as we were talking about earlier, adapters for things like um, octobags or, or soft boxes and, and that sort of thing. And shipping relatively soon, if not now? We're looking at by the end of this month, by the end of April, being able to ship. Okay, so we're not gonna have to wait. That's only a couple weeks, uh, sitting from where we are at NAB 2023. Ron, thank you so much for showing me around the 900C. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. All right. That's it for us here at the Nanlux booth at NAB 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. And stay tuned for more continuing coverage from the show. Thanks, everybody.